Hey everybody, this is Nicholas, also known as NTK of Luciform, and this is the first boss of the Instant Seeker base, named Soul Crusher. This video is going to be a little bit different than previous strategy videos I've uploaded, as this game is a lot different than every other MMO that's out there. I would not be giving you exact damage numbers, as there's honestly no way for me to acquire them. The boss's mechanics are not as predictable in this game as they are in most MMOs either. That's what makes Terra so interesting and so much fun to actually play. This boss can be completed with almost any group makeup you can think of. We've killed him with 5 DPS, 2 healers, 1 tank, 2 DPS, 2 healers, 3 DPS, and many other combinations. I would recommend running it, however, with the standard 1 tank, 1 healer, 3 DPS group makeup because it's probably going to be the easiest for you to do it that way. As best I can tell, this boss does not have any percentage-based abilities. All of his abilities are just used at different intervals based on whatever he feels like doing it, essentially. One of the abilities you have to watch for is that the boss will put a big bubble around himself and red circles will appear on the ground. A flame burst comes out from him and hits anyone that's in melee range at the start of this ability, also applying a burning dot on them, which can be cleansed. A couple seconds later, he'll begin to mortar the red circles that are on the ground. Basically all you have to do is not stand in the circles and you'll be fine. The bubble he puts on himself will reduce the damage he takes and will make him immune to all damage over time effects. This buff is based on time and you can actually see it counting down on his buff bar. Now, we move on to his favorite ability, the Belly Flop. Yep, there it is. He uses this one all the time. A red circle will appear at the feet of the person he's going to flop on, and shortly after, down he goes. It's uh, kind of funny to watch. Sometimes he'll just sit there and flop around like a dead fish, like bang, bang, bang. Either way, yeah, all you have to do is just watch your feet, and if you have a red circle, just move and get out of the way, because you know he's coming to land on you. Another ability he frequently uses is he will just charge in one single direction, trampling over anything in his way. All you need to do is move out of the way and you won't take any damage. He almost always goes in a straight line. Those are basically all the abilities the boss uses in this encounter. He does have a couple different types of melee swings and one knockback, but they're not really noticeable the majority of the time. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click that subscribe button as there's plenty more terror videos on the way. Also, if you look below the video, you too can play the role of Ebert and Roper in your own movie review by clicking that thumbs up button on the left. Thanks again for watching everyone and good luck.